All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube in the future, if you're watching us there. For our next legendary deck on this legendary Sunday, we're going to try Esper. This is my very first time to play uh, Esper. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Again, we have a really high curve. Uh, that can be a problem. Um, here, our main main payoff is, of course, there's this Ruinous Blast. Um, and then also the Yawgmoth's File Offering. So we have like the removal as our payoff for our legendary sorceries. Uh, but plus, we have Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. This is a card that I've never never actually played before haven't uh, put this in any deck yet um, super excited to cast this card I hope we get to I only have one because it costs seven mana um, but I sure hope we get to do this and it's kind of like our Kamal's Druidic Vow um, so there we go we have we have like the the good three mana planeswalkers also we got Dovins Kaya's we're gonna try out the Rona try out some Izerath's we got some pretty good three mana slot. Our our one and two mana slots are terrible though. That's that's like the real struggle with this deck. Our one and two mana slots are really bad. Um, yeah, I'm not playing like thought erasures or anything like that. So let's uh, see if it works out. We could certainly get ran over though, but hopefully like our angels, um, with, like Shalai, Lyra. Uh, we have Vona for lifelink. Perfect run, let's go. Yeah, I really liked Durham the one time I was I went there. I, I really liked Durham quite a bit. Or a Sonic with the song request. That's a good opener. All right, thank you so much, Or Sonic. I'm gonna to get to that in a little bit. Here, let me let me get to that. I'm seeing lots of angels, and this song seems fitting. It's a lo little loud. Just a heads up. All right, cool. I I can't play the. Um, Alright, so Dream Theater, Untethered Angel. I can't play the YouTube link anymore with how I'm doing the Spotify, but I can go, I'll go search for that here in a second on Spotify. All right, uh, library. Okay, I need to do some typing. What's our opponent doing? Grixis stuff over there? I heard you had some dead oh, things that needed to stay dead. Funny, that's what I do. Azeroth's a card to play, I suppose. I'm just play this card here. If it gets countered, it's kind of like, so what? It's just, it's an Azeroth, you know? No, you can't play with my toothbrush. This is my toothbrush. We do have like our, our um we have Yogmas Vile offerings, so I guess I may not want to like exile things like you know planeswalkers and stuff like that. He told me I would find you here. What if we're playing against Grixis Legends? I'm so 
What if our opponent's playing Grixis Legends? They could be. We had all the... Oh, no. Never mind. They had Opt and Sinister Sabotage. Those are not cards I have in my Grixis Legends deck. Yeah, this is definitely just probably just a Grixis Dragons deck. Which means the Zerz's Ruinous Blast is not going to do very much. It's kind of a dead card. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Quit purchase for a donation deck. Yeah, you get a, get a donation deck. I will call for signing up for Quip also. I like that. That's a good idea. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to add that into the to the info page. Yeah, we got Quip as a sponsor. I have I have a couple more sponsors that are going to be coming here pretty soon, but I have Quip is the one I've set up right no. now. Quip toothbrushes. We're gonna get a, a couple more here soon. Um, right. Hey, stop. I'm really How could at I have lost. Best toothbrush I've ever had. Um, you have to go through my referral code link, though. Go through my referral code link. You get a free um, refill, a $10 value. You set up for the subscription package. And my, recur my referral code link is down below in the info panel. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, you can find it um, down in the, in the info of the YouTube channel. All right, JRC. Have a good night. How did you do that? Hmm. It's an interesting card. It can turn into Izareth, a 3 3 Death Toucher. They can start returning these things back into play. I think that's better than playing a Tezzeret here. Dear to you. <laughs> what is Izareth is just whenever it attacks, then you pay three you pay like the mana to put it back. Um, I guess I can't really do much about that. I had field business to attend to anyway. We're actually not looking so bad. Lyra is messing our opponent up. It's possible this Raph Capassion gets to like flash in and deal like the three points of damage that our opponent won't expect. You know, if like something happens.
Oh, do they have their own Yogmoss Vile offering? Hey, Matthew Ori, supporting with Quip. Thanks, Matthew. Dude, you're gonna you're gonna love this toothbrush. I'm telling you. So the plan just to flip the bolus. New bolus. So yeah, Matthew, if you want, if you want a deck, yeah, let let me know when you want a deck. So yeah, that's that's something we'll do. And and if you're one of the the people that that uh, signed up for Quip earlier, um, Sir Swindler, Quad Laser, or Primaginia first. Um, if y'all signed up for if those are the people who have signed up for, for Quip so far, y'all let me know. I'll um. Send me a deck, and I'll play your deck on stream at your convenience, whenever you want. Yeah, there was a bunch of floating creatures. That is true there. All right, let's get these blasts out of here. And Profane Procession is awesome in this matchup. That card is, like, built for this matchup. Probably want a bunch of duresses and negates, I suppose. But that takes out a lot of a lot of slots. Um, Kaya doesn't seem too necessary. Maybe not two of them. We'll play one Kaya. Bone is not good against Lava Coil. But that's okay. Hmm. Oh, cast down. Cast down's got to go. They could certainly be bringing in Thief of Sanities, though. I guess that's something I need to be worried about is Thief of Sanity. Let's get this Josu vest out of here. Maybe both Kayas. Usually dentist quality brushes are like a hundred dollars each and the tens and the heads are fifteen to twenty bucks for three. Well there you go. Like this is definitely a dentist quality brush, because like I said, it's the best one I've ever had at least. So yeah. If you want a good electric toothbrush anyway, certainly worth it. How do you deal with Ascanta? I don't know. We have like Teferi. Teferi can do stuff. Or we just like play creatures that attack them. Ooh. Come on, let's get that black mana man. Profane procession is like our best card. We need we need black mana though. No, I know I know like the, the yeah the 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 head. Yeah, like this. Yeah, like the head does look really, really basic, right? But it honestly is a really good brush. I was actually like really su surprised. Because, um, yeah, you're right. It does. It's just simple. Um, they are coming. But it, it really is the best toothbrush I've ever had. And I, was, I was really, like, honestly uh, surprised how good it was. 
because it, it doesn't, you know, I wouldn't have thought so either with it just being, you know, like how it looks. An X-Files theme sound, an X-Files theme button. Um, all right, so that was my bad keeping that hand. The hand ended up just being awful with us not drawing any lands, but you know, it's a 26 land deck. Yeah, after Wizard, you just got here. Um, Quip is the newest sponsor to the channel. Also, Sazori, thanks for keeping up your two month streak now. Saying, keep up the awesome streaming, Todd. I will. Thanks, Sazori. Will, with your help there. Um, so yeah, so signing up for a Quip subscription through my link um, not only gets like the the cool um, little notification on the stream, but then you also help support me as much as like subscribing for an entire year. So. Uh, let's do this one. So like half of that octoral, like thirty, because with the Twitch with the Twitch subscription, remember I, d I don't get all five bucks the whole year. I, I get half of it. You want the plastic brush? Yeah, Twitch Twitch gets half, and I get half for like the for the subs. For the subscriptions. No. But my Teferi dough. spell sure at least we know they don't have a negate here I don't have to worry too much about negate let's just play this Tezzeret uh, make a token in case but like a an Elvis reborn come. yeah you can sign up next month for it yep absolutely no that's so yeah quips just gonna be a regular uh, sponsor of the stream you can sign up later I'll just kind of mention them every so often I really recommend it. It's really good. But make sure you go through my referral link whenever you sign up. All right, I'm just going to have this Raph end step. It is the ideal subordinate. We've seen them play Sinister Sabotage before. Uh, like, that was game one. You know, presumably, post board they have even more counter spells. Um, I honestly don't know. O Octral. Honestly don't know. No, my vial offering. Ah, didn't get the land. Let's uh, let's draw a card here. Let's see if we get a land. You're still nice. one step behind. All right, we get to do it. We get to do it. We just get to ferry. This isn't a fight you can win. 
We get Teferi and Rona. The Rona will exile the Vile Offering so that I can cast the Vile Offering later. I'll have Teferi tuck this Bolas. You need to take a time out. Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting idea, Matthew. If you can only make one of the Legends decks, which one should you go for? Um, it's kind of like a... It's kind of a, you know, choice up to you of, like, whichever one, you know, like... Which one you think you like the most. Wow. Look at that. They have a Bedevil. They can Bedevil any of these things, and they're Bedeviling Rona. Shows you how good Rona is. Because Rona did have the Yawgmoth's Vile Offering, I suppose. Um, let's start by drawing with the Fairy. Let's skip to the good part. I want to make another Thopter so I get to start drawing two. Um, Naya Legends is the... Yeah, so I was going to continue on with that answer. So Naya Legends is the deck that I've played the most and I think is the, the most well-tuned currently. Like, this is my first time... I just made this, this Esper Legends, for example, earlier today. This is my first time playing it. Poor opponent. They think that niv is going to do something. But I have a Vona. They probably didn't know I had a Vona. Does this destroy it? Give me this Nivmizit. I want it. Alright, let's draw a card. Hurry. Trigger Niv. Draw two. I know what must be done. Trigger Niv. Trigger Niv. Ah. Start attacking. Wait. Flash in the search for his Ganta before damage. Yeah, technically start like attacking. Attacking with the Vona and then before blockers destroying is like usually the best course of action. But yeah, we didn't do that. Man, what a game. What a game. We actually got to cast the Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Got to do it. Um, and a lot of other fun stuff. I'm liking this build. The Rona was really cool. Um, yeah. Good game. That was a good start. Oh, I forgot to get our, I forgot to get our pack. Y'all remind me after this game to, to get the pack, because we got to our 10th sub earlier, and so it's going to be pack time. But Zen Streams, thank you so much for that subscription. There's Zen Streams, using your Twitch Prime sub here. I do appreciate that. Alright, let's go with the little Zav. Um, I kind of need a fifth land, right? I'm going to just keep this. I mean, I only need one more land, but I I do need said land. If I put it here, we need one of the next, let's see, turn three, four, five. We need one of the next three cards to be a land. It's likely that one of the next three cards are land, but I don't really want to take that risk. We're probably dead anyway, though. Opponents on the play and have to turn three Wilderness Reclamation on the play. We're probably just going to be dead. Hey, thanks, Zen Streams.
All right, I need to make. Uh, Oh, I already did. Wait, okay, wait, we're playing Esper right now. So, I, yeah, I need to make the Grixis Legends. Thumbnail. Right, next turn we, we do get to blast away like the two wilderness hard. reclamations next turn. The choices we make reveal who we are. If our opponent whiffs here. Oh, they get to flip as Canta though. Never mind, they're not whiffing. This is likely game over. I'll be surprised if we take another turn. But that'll be nice if we get another turn. Alright. I'll be... Sorry, I'm not in the chat for just a second. I'm making this. If we get another turn, we can win. It's just unlikely we get another turn. That has Kanta activation just whiffed. Oh, no, or a Sonic. Sorry, I'd start doing other things and... No, here, I'll, I'll get you here in just a second. My bad, thanks, thanks for reminding me. Um, let me finish with this YouTube video for Grixis Legends. Alright, we're not going to take another turn now. I, I already conceded. I was a little behind on this. Okay, that should be everything. Publish. All right. Negate duress. Um, this is going to be a tough matchup for us if they have all those things. Um, I like Kaya uh, to stop there as Kanta's. Um, Blast is honestly really not that bad because it just gets it's just five mana to get rid of wilderness reclamation. Lazav's gonna be too slow. We don't need the defense. Shalai's pretty slow also. Karn's super slow. Cast down can leave. Um Unmored Ego would be a good sideboard card for this matchup, absolutely. Yeah, they'll just find another Profane can't stop their win con at instant speed, but they'll just find they'll just find another win con. Okay, let's get that song request. Um
All right, Professor Crayon says, Hey, Todd, I took my own variant of your Jeskai Legends deck to a win -a box yesterday, and... Took down the tournament. Runa's Blast is so good. Hey, that's awesome. Good job, Professor Crayon. All right, can y'all... Can y'all hear it? Uh, it's Somebody Untethered Angel you. by I'll Dream Theater. Suffer. No, I don't have Moxie Amber in any of the decks. Alright, I turned it up. You're not welcome here anymore. Hopefully you can hear it a little better. Let me know if it still needs to be turned up more. Alright, you're not the only one that wants to play it in the speed opponent. I'm sorry, was that due to you? Yeah, I think there could be a deck with four Seraph of the Scales, four Hostage Shakers, and some Quasi Duplicates. Yeah, there could be an S for Quasi Duplicate deck there. I mean, you probably want to be playing, um... Probably want to be playing Chupacabra as well. But that... That could probably be a deck. Was that dear to you? Now it's dearly departed. Uh, was that dear to you? Now it's dearly departed. That's a good, nice line. Um. I think I'll just keep this blast up at instant speed, I suppose. Yeah, that's that's the plan. Never let them flip as Kanta. for my excellent timing. If they just keep on playing a, a ton of Nexuses, yeah, but they only have three cards in hand, so it's not, like, super likely. This is kind of crazy, though. So they have four cards in the graveyard. No time for a break. The the nexus that they revealed the that uh, previously was a nexus that they milled over with Ascanta that they revealed and shuffled back into their library. That one that was like revealed earlier in the game. Oh, I missed Lethal by not ulting Kaya. Oh, I guess you're right. I I forget the. The Kaya does that. Okay, so yeah, I need to kind of remember that for... Uh, previously. So so they are playing Teferis. So Yawgmoth's Vile Offering does kill Teferis. Blast is kind of just for Reclamation and nothing else. 
Do I want another offering then if they're playing to since they're playing to fairies? Maybe I want another one. Yeah, I'll play it over the rebirth. Fortunately, rebirth rebirth's just not for this matchup. Okay, I did not have lethal. They they didn't have enough cards. Um in their graveyard. Cool. Yeah, rebirth has to go, unfortunately. Double search for Escanta. Well, I might as well just take the Teferi then. We have, so we still have um, removal for Krasis. We still have um, the Urza's Ruinous Blast. And we also just put in another vial. Yagmas file offering, and we have like the planeswalkers. We have stuff against Krasis. I want to find Kaya again. That was really nice last time. I find it hard to be a genius by a surrounded assault. by lesser minds. <laughs> All right, we're going with another song. From the same band. Uh, for you, Orasonic, for uh, You're doing me a favor. Going pretty late. Yeah, getting some more Dream Theater hype. Don't find green mana, please. Tilt. Ugh, it's annoying. At least we got the Wilderness Reclamation out of there with that duress. Oh, already flipping Ascanta. Kaya's too late. They just need land drops right now, so like they they should be just like looking for land drops. I'm inspired by a good assault. Hmm. <laughs> there is great power in the things we make. We need to move quickly. Nice, that's a good one. I feel like I want the like, the clock here, which is why I'm I'm minusing the Karn. Try to get like somewhat of a clock going. Perfect. Perfect. Then a gate draw. Pretty clutch. 
Um, yeah, let's get another Dovin. Let's go library. I don't get a flip as Kanta. You know what? I'm not done yet. This is just a small example of my genius. Let's add what this battle there? to your record of Heart bad decisions. But we're gonna we're gonna go aggro here. Some solutions must be built. We have lethal next turn. Can't really stop my opponent from winning, so I need to get a real fast clock, I think. Nice. I like them having the gates, because that, that card doesn't really matter right now. So we've gotten rid of two Wilderness Reclamation so far. Please don't have another one. Oh, no. Uh... Why, Hawkeye, why? No. Finding that third one already. We'll see if we're st still in it. Well, this reclamation is just so busted. I don't. I don't know if we're in it anymore, honestly. There are 32 cards in library. They get to activate as Kanta twice every turn, so they get to look at. Definitely not anymore. Ugh. This cant is ridiculous. So yeah, a a couple of copies of Unmoored Ego in the sideboard is certainly good for that matchup. Um, you know, I, I just built this deck earlier today. I did I didn't put anything really in for that matchup besides our duresses and negates. It got us, the duresses and negates were good, you know, like we we counter, we made them discard one. Um, I don't like only two lands. Made them discard one wilderness reclamation, countered another, but they drew that third one. And it was, it was pretty unfortunate for us that they had the two Ascantas in their hand, you know, like we had the turn one duress. I was like all looking forward to taking the Ascanta, but they had two of them in their hand. I honestly don't mind Nexus that much. It's Wilderness Reclamation that I really don't like. Nexus wasn't a problem before Wilderness Reclamation. You had to like, you know, really work for it. Whatever your plans, there's I stand on the shoulders of giants. This is nice. a rare occasion. I'm not often wrong. I need the extra mana. Do I need a second blue? I guess. We could draw like a Tezzeret or something. Yeah, decide word four on meet more egos. Say I'm not not losing this crap. Raph will probably get our opponent.
Yeah, Opeth here isn't in my normal playlist, but it's still just kind of playing from previously. I can, uh, can certainly add this song to the playlist. If y'all like it. I, uh, I've been enjoying it myself. That's why I haven't switched. All right, so we get to Vile Offering. I kind of want to kill the Hostage Taker, honestly. All right, so I think this is what we're going to do. Let's... We got to pay seven life. Do I want to attack with this thing first? Yeah, let's attack with this thing first. We'll see how they block. All right, well, that's easy enough. Thanks, opponent. Yeah, that couldn't really have gone better. Give me this. That could not have gone any better. All right, let's get back to the normal playlist. No finality so far for the opponent. A good sign. Dispelling phantasms makes me feel good. Be gone. Ooh, yeah, deputy detention. Absolutely. And quasi duplicate deck. Definitely. Should it just be a, a militia bugler deck. You can quasi duplicate your militia buglers. Thief of Sanity. Good target for Militia Bugler. Really good at banishing things. All right. Yeah, they need finality and contempt. They need finality. Um, but of course then I also had Lyra that I got to flash in or that I was going to be able to flash in so They were just in a really tough spot All right, Let's get these blasts in um, Vile offering plus hostage taker is pretty nice So I want to negate her duresses Not really. I mean, Vona was awesome that game, but it was kind of like already in a spot where we had locked it up. I don't think Vona is necessarily that good in this matchup because of its weakness to finality and kind of everything else. I'm going to go ahead and take that Vona out. Um, not Josu Vess. No, Josu Vess is fine. I'm going to trim one Dovin. Dovin's not very good. Hmm. Cards are kind of strong. Hand is super slow. To be fair, our deck is really slow, though. 
probably still just a mulligan. All right, I like this more. Yeah, this will do. In Gruel Best of One, what do you think is a good main board answer to the Rug Wilderness deck? Um, can you play Cindervine's main deck? Ugh, I did not want to draw another Kaya. Hmm. Negate. Ooh, maybe Assassin's Trophy? Assassin's Trophy would be I cool. I faced undead horrors. This is child's play. Am I dematerializing? Huh. I hope you've said your goodbyes already. Man, Kaya does have really good voice lines. I'm liking Kaya's voice lines. All right, uh, so Teferi's the card I want to play, but I don't, I should have just played Godless Shrine, because I'm just going to play Wrath. I don't really want to have Teferi get countered, so I was just going to go with Wrath, but I, I should have played the Godless Shrine. All right, whenever our opponent taps out, then I'll play Teferi. They probably have to tap out sometime. I like a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. Cool. That's the deck's list so far. For the donation deck for signing up for Quip. Yeah, if you sign up for Quip, you get a free donation. Okay, I don't you can't play Bugler in this deck. This is not a Bugler deck. Yeah, you only have yeah, you need like a, a ton of Bugler hits. Yeah, that that's not a Bugler deck. So you, you can just get rid of Buglers. Fit something else in instead. Funny, that's what I do. It's okay. We no no no. I, I was thinking yeah. So you'd have to you'd have to change up the deck quite a bit in order to fit them in. All right, they tapped out, so we get to Teferi. They are keeping the Vivian, huh? A little ways away from casting that Vivian. Right on schedule. Hold that thought. Pack your bags and hit the road. So they'll they'll sh have that Shalai. I'll play new Shalai to <laughs> protect old Shalai. Oh wait, what? Oh no! I wanted to keep the other one! Oh no! I messed it up! Uh... Whoops. Don't make another move. Hurry! Alright, I messed it up. They they still attacked. Wait, they attacked Teferi. They have three cards in exile. All right, we're going to win with Kaya ult, though, still. All right, Kaya ultimate. What sort of history is coming back, huh? Boom. 
<laughs> the, lined up for the extra point, and the kick goes wide. <laughs> You think Kaya's ultimate should just be negative eight Kaya's wrath? I I do like how it it incentivizes you to exile things. Like you know, it makes the the plus um, ability better. Dabs. Can we just play against the Dabs? Name sounds familiar. Alright, time for bed. Have a good night, King Toll. I will see you again tomorrow. Yeah, thanks for the kind words. Basic mountain, huh? No, Izareth or Kaya? We'll do Izareth. Already. All right, we're going Kaya now instead of Rona. I think Rona just kind of gets shocked. I want um, Kaya to start ticking up. I'm not dead yet. Try harder. Yeah, opponent, try harder. All right, where's our lands at? You want something banished? Funny, that's what I do. Um, I I th I think the Naya Legends deck is probably the best. How did you do that? But yeah, we're testing some some new ones. All right, well the Kaya gained a six life. I'll take it. I did want to block with the Rona because I wanted to be able to to play the Izareth, uh the next turn. So that's why I didn't block with Rona to keep Kai alive. We're, we're not that good with Naya Legends. Oh, the double burn spell? Rough. Alright, let's have Raph come on in and surprise our opponent. Maybe we'll be able to play this Lyra at some point. You never know. What do you think, Hawkeye? You think Lyra? Whew. No Chain Whirler, that's good. Oh, there's Chain Whirler. I can like flash in a Lazav, but it's really just like a 1-3. I guess it does surveil one, which could like really help us hit this land drop. Hey, Flock of Fears, thanks for resubbing there for the fifth month in a row. Oh yeah, we still have a pack to open. 
Or I can play Kaya. Exile that Pyromancer, gain two life. Let's go with the Lazav. I want to surveil. I really want to hit this land drop. And E Weaver on that three month streak as well. Thanks, E Weaver. Remember, y'all, make sure you get you get some hype in the channel for our new and re subscribers. Always like showing some love for our subs here. So that's sub number 13 on the day. All right, well, they're not playing the Chain Whirler now. Oh, wait, never mind. Steam can still get to play the Chain Whirler. Never mind. Forgot about Steamkin there for a second. But good news is they've gone through so many burn spells. Two Wizards Lightnings, two Lightning Strikes. Perfect. Untapped land that doesn't take us damage. Hoping they can't kill the Lyra with the burn spells they got left. Or the two cards they have left. Cool, you got the program installed and profile set up. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, the tutorial's really good. Cool, Dutch. Yeah, en enjoy Magic Arena. Ooh, baby. We got to untap. Let's blast. And those are gone. Game over. All right, going to game two. Let's get another Lyra, get another Shalai. Um, get some Duresses, maybe some Cry of the Carnarium. I don't think I really want Urza's Ruinous Blast too much. I feel like that's like the, the complete best that Ruinous Blast can do. Um... I mean, Blast and Yawgmoth's Vile Offering. What do I want to sideboard out of these two? Um, I certainly want to sideboard some, if not all, of the, them out. Maybe we play one Blast, two Offering. Don't even know. Yeah, maybe just go one of each, get this other Negate in here. I think that's good. Is Duress better than Negate? Maybe four Duress, two Negate. And then one of each of those. Duress does turn into a dead spell pretty quickly, but... Um, which of course is the bad news, but it is so good early game because it, you know, only costing um, only costing one mana is pretty crucial. Blast is good against frenzy. That is true.
countered. Didn't see the door, so I left you myself You can rest in. in peace. Just do it somewhere else. Oh, really? We're 44 and 18 with Nia Legends in 2019 with uh, four final bosses defeated in 11 tries. I didn't realize we did that good with the deck. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Yeah, I honestly didn't realize that we were running that strong with it. Four five ones, four four twos, two three twos, and one two two. Nothing worse than a two two. I'm pretty sure. I'm not pretty sure, but I think we may have gone like an O two and then restart. Maybe. I know we. I know we did that with Grixis Legends. Maybe that's just Grixis Legends I'm thinking of. Yeah, I checked end of the video records. Gotcha. But that's still that's that's a really good healthy record. All right, down to nine. Back up to ten. This is just a small example of my on your impending failure. The facts can't be denied. I am beaten. <laughs> we really like Raph here. I really like being able to flash in Lyra. Um, I. I expect our opponent to have like collision colossuses, especially collisions, to deal with Lyra. And so, uh, being able to like kind of wait till they tap out and flash in a Lyra could really be nice. Oh, Shalai is even better. Yeah, opponent got stuck on lands, for sure. But we got this game in the bag now. They tap out. I could have, you know, flashed it in Shalai here so they don't do the two damage to us. But I'm, I'm throwing in Lyra. That two damage isn't going to matter too much. So now I expect them to have collision here. And they're going to try to kill Lyra with collision. And I protect it with Shalai. And they die. Wrath Compassion. Instant speed angels. It's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty, pretty nice. That was smooth. Um, what do you think's the best shell for climb right now? I don't know. Hadana's climb is an awesome card. Um, I don't know like the exact best shell for it. Um, I'm honestly a little surprised that Soltai doesn't play like a climb. Oh my gosh, pack time! And I am the worst at remembering packs tonight. This, the same pack. Keep on forgetting it. Oh, you meant climbing the ladder. Oh, I was thinking like Hadana's climb. Oh. 
As far as climbing the ladder, I mean, Sultai is the best deck. Probably want to be playing that. Oh, you did mean Hadana's climb. Okay. Um. I mean, I I do think you want to just be you know like a aggressively slanted, you know, blue green deck. Our final playing. Soul type mid range. I don't know if I love like Kadana's climb in like three color decks. Like the three color decks. I kinda like just like a blue green aggro with climb. But blue green does have its weaknesses. Maybe you maybe you need a, another color. Wonder if our opponent um Has removal spell for this Vona that they know about. Well, the the Mythic Championship tournament, remember, is not all constructed. There was a Soul Type player that went ten and zero in in constructed. Remember, it's a limited tournament also. Yeah, there's also yeah, there's also an undefeated mono blue player. But it's also just like the sample of one tournament, you know, like Wow. We get to untap? What does our opponent have over there? Are they playing counter magic? I know the Incubation Druid can turn into a 3-5, so that's why I'm not just, like, attacking with Vona and stuff here. Maybe they're sitting with a bunch of lands? Find Finality? They could, be, they could be sitting with, like, Find Finality, but then they didn't Finality away my Vona. I guess they wanted... know my responsibility nice hold that thought yeah so we can destroy any non-land permanent with vona it doesn't have to be ones that the opponent controls which you know usually you see it says like let the opponent controls so if our opponent does have like a contempt and they want to contempt like my Teferi, for example, here. We could just pay seven life, destroy the Teferi, so we can put it in the graveyard and get it back with Vile Offering. Our second time to cast Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Oh, I can only activate this ability during my turn, though. Right, so I guess I should have just activated on my turn and killed that Incubation Druid. Why would you possibly take that? Oh, because it costs four and you can cast it? I guess. I don't have anything like really that cool to to play. Let's skip to the good. Yeah, I could tuck the Josu vest. I'm just gonna hostage take it though. So that if the hostage taker dies, I just get my Josie vest back. If it doesn't die, I am really close to kicking it. Hey, thanks. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Did you think you were getting the Josie vest? I'm the one that controls it. I'm the one that owns that, that card. So that's what was in their hand. They, they're just sitting with cast downs, and cast downs don't do anything against my deck. Alright, so last time I just brought in the two Urza's Ruinous Blast, cut the Dovin, and cut the Vona. That's what I did against Sultai last time we played it. And it worked out pretty well, so I think we just do that again. Maybe I'll just cut Dovin all together. No, we can't have just all fives. Yeah, so let's try that. Yeah, nothing too too good. You know, like that's I was like, you know, the bare minimum. I didn't get to do anything like super super special or anything like that. It isn't awesome. We're not beating Sultai's best hands with this. To be honest, we're probably just not beating Sultai's best hands with our deck. Um, I only have like a, a few things to be doing on turn two anyway. Let's do it. Let's keep it and draw gas. I like... I like your... Your optimism. Let's keep it. Let's draw gas. I'm going to draw a search for his Kanta there. Okay, not quite. Opponent's not doing anything, though. That's good for us. Don't play anything else here. Ooh. That's good. No Jade Light. You're not welcome I'm here. Make you this couldn't have gone better for us. I really like the cast down. Also. Now they missed a land drop. Man, I could go greedy and try to block the Thief of Sanity with Raft Compassion. I hope you've said your goodbyes. That's so already. greedy. I'm just going to you know, because they could have like you know, anything. You know, disdainful stroke or whatever. Well, 
We're already doing like a lot better than expected. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna kill the Thief of Sanity there and now get rid of their mana. Do you have a hostage taker this turn? You better hope you do, because I'm gonna shalai this thing. Thief of Sanity is like a combo with Kaya, because Thief of Sanity puts two cards into their graveyard. And so I can exile those cards with Kaya. It's a combo. Com bags, we got a combo deck. The road. Contempt, contempt, taker. Disdainful stroke. Frilled mystic. They really wanted to get to that four mana. Boy, I tell you what. Whole hand costs four. I think I'm just gonna go with the Wrath Compassion. Our thief could get could get killed here. I'm going with the upside of instant speed stuff. Oh my gosh. Shalai plus Laz Lazav Shalai? Dude, that is an infinite hexproof. That is pretty sweet. You're not welcome we, we, of course, have to have a Shalai in the graveyard. For that to happen, which we don't have a Shalai in the graveyard. Alright, so now I can flash in Shalai. They get their fourth land. They get to get, like, Contempt or Hostage Taker or whatever, and we just flash in Shalai. Um, as far as I know, Deckmaster is working. No, the Lazav got our opponent. Yeah, we were gonna have lethal there. Uh, Lazav, we could turn into a three-three, and just a swing for lethal. But then we also had Kaya to do even more lethal, I suppose. We had extra lethal. Yeah, using Shalai as a counter spell. Shalai dive down. Final boss time. Oh. Let me cancel. Thank you. Let's get this pack. Let's crack this pack open first. And then we'll get to the final boss. Ah, uh, just 20 gems. That's alright. We got the Mythic Wild Card last time. <clears throat> alright, get those final boss emotes out there. Five Wind Dream is still alive. Oh no! I accidentally closed out Spotify. Whoops.
All right, I'm back. Here we go. All good. We are on the play. My, the Esper duplicate deck and paper said 800 bucks. <laughs> This hand is gas. This is a good hand. I have been just like really impressed with I've been really impressed with uh Raf Capassion. Please don't play Goblin Electromancer. I, you know, I definitely considered keeping this up for Goblin Electromancer this turn. That's what I was thinking about. All right. Works out. Let's add I this battle to your record of bad this. decisions. This is a rare occasion. I'm not Lame. often wrong. It's from Final Fantasy VII. This is the boss music in Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, Dovin gained three life and traded with a card and gave us a 1 1. Corpse Girl, thanks for getting the Twitch Prime sub up in here. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy the awesome emotes. Hope you're getting the final boss emotes out there. That is sub number 14. We'll be cracking open another pack if we get one more subscriber. And so Corpse Girl resub in here for the second month. Dang, didn't get that fifth land drop. Jelly, stop stop cursing. So I think I think the only thing I'm kind of thinking about changing for the um Naya Legends deck is I think I'm I think I want to try out um Playing some Cinder Vines instead of Night of Autumns. I think Cinder Vine can help out the, uh, like the control matchup and like the um, the Nexus matchup, which I think I could be struggling with. Um, gosh, I guess I'm just gonna cast down this thing. I wanted to save cast down for a Drake, but ugh. really want to draw that fifth land and just start playing stuff. Man, I would have rather cast down that thing. Getting real punished for using that cast down. Probably just like save their creature so well. Yeah, missing our land drop two turns in a row here is going to likely cost us this. Tuck? I am master of machines. Ugh. 
Yeah, none of our options were too good. Alright, let's get these blasts in. Shalai, Lyra. Profane Procession. I can exile. Um, I like Duress more than Negate. In general in this matchup, but I don't really love either. These cry the carnariums up in there. Alright, what's this looking like? I guess I like Lazav more than. some of these other cards. Yeah, Chromium's coming in against Control. Alright, let's try this. Down a game against the final boss. This is not looking good for us either. The evil empire of phoenixes are coming down. Where the land's at? Man, Kaya would be so good to exile the Phoenix. Both those Phoenixes. We we obviously don't have Kaya or White Mana. So it's just it's not happening, but it'd be so good. The Cry of the Carnarium is certainly good. Um if they're shocking in like that, they have to have a spell pierce, right? And that's that's bad because we don't have mana to be able to cast stuff. Our twenty-six land deck is it's hurting. So we kept three lands on our mold to six. Scryed a spell to the bottom and have drawn three spells. Ugh. All right, the two phoenixes come out here. We were taking a hit. But at least they, they're not going to have spell pierce up, though, so that's good. Can we draw land? Nope. Because they still have a full grip. They still have seven cards in hand. So it's not like we're even, like, you know, doing that, that good. Like, the, the phoenixes are just free. I'm gonna hover over you like a dark cloud. Just wanna pee. It's not like we're like. Wait, is killing me. You know, like we survived some great thing there. Okay. There's white mana. That's the start. Well, I will uh, gladly point out. Get one more land. We can vial offering and kill this Ral. Nothing to put in <laughs> into play though. Always oh, so exciting. But just killing Ral would be really nice. Final bosses are pretty tough, though.
You're doing me a favor. <laughs> that tickled. Not expecting to, to win this one. No, I don't really the play modern anymore. No pick. That's real science. Um. All right. So the question is, if I could tier the different legend decks, how would I rank them? So both Bant and Esper are real new. Uh, this is like my first time playing them today. So it's it's a difficult uh, thing to to tier because of that. Um. You know, haven't really played them enough. Uh, you know, like they're, you know, I'm sure like sideboard, sideboard, and all that kind of stuff. Like they could be tuned better. Um, but right now, Grixis and Nia are the two I've played the most. Grix or Nia is the one that I've had the most success with. So like Nia, I'd put first. Um, we haven't had necessarily a ton of success with Grixis though. Yeah, it certainly feels like our opponent has He's some kind of counter magic. He's worth it. Whether it's negate, spell pierce, disdainful stroke. Those are all cards I could see them having. Oh, bruised my ego too. Lyra just dies to Ral's minus. But then Ral is more vulnerable to our creatures. I think it's I think it I think Lyra has a good chance of resolving where Vile Offering doesn't. And also just playing Lyra first gives the Vile Offering a good target. For the reanimate effect, there's no, there's nothing to really to reanimate right now. Oh, come on! That's probably game. If they have a, I mean, if they have a counter spell for a vile offering, that's game. You know, that's that'll be the the thing here. If they counter this, they win. If they don't, we have a sh shot, I suppose. A small shot. Yep, just got stuck on lands for way too long. But we've noticed a, a problem. Niv Mizzet has Niv Mizzet's really strong. <laughs> Niv Mizzet from the those Izza decks. Uh, not the first time that we've lost to that. Um, one of our, our losses with Bant Legends. Same kind of thing. Ral and Niv Mizzet. Pretty 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 strong. Overall, though, I was like, really, I was really uh, pleased with the deck. We beat Sultai twice. Um, Primeval's Glorious Rebirth was cool. We got to cast it like we got to cast it like two times and won both of those games. Um, you know, this was a deck I just threw together earlier today and wasn't expecting a whole lot, especially with how turn one and two, sorry, turn one and two are just so bad. Um, but it was pretty impressive. Yeah, our twenty-six land deck. Um, couldn't get to our fifth land drop, unfortunately, those games. So yeah, this one was pretty cool. So there we go. That's Esper Legends. So if you're watching this one later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.